Matthew chapter 3 from verse 13 through 17 it says then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him and John tried to prevent him saying I need to be baptized by you and are you coming to me but Jesus answered and said to him permit it to be so for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness then he allowed him when he had been baptized Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold the heavens were opened to him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him and suddenly a voice came from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased praise be to Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord for being our example thank you Lord for showing us what righteousness looks like the humility that you have shown in your character that we aim to be like you in character but not like you as in being a God but we aim to be like you in your meekness in your love in your grace in your mercy in your forgiveness hallelujah thank you Lord for forgiving us thank you Father may you say to us as it says in Song of Solomon chapter 4 verse 7 you are all fair my love and there is no spot in you as it states in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16 wash yourselves make yourselves clean Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rebuke the oppressor. Defend the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Verse 17. Thank you, Lord. Wash us, Lord God, in your word. Wash us, Lord. How you did not think it was robbery for John the Baptist to baptize you. You said permit it to be sold to fulfill all righteousness. Oh Lord. This passage from Isaiah chapter 1 was Judah called to repentance. Jesus was from the tribe of Judah. Thank you, Lord. In Isaiah 62, it says, For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a lamp that burns. The Gentiles shall see your righteousness and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord will name. You shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no longer be termed forsaken. 
nor shall your land any more be termed desolate. But you shall be called Hephzibah, and your land Beulah, for the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord do not keep silent and give him no rest till he establishes and till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no longer give your grain as food for your enemies. And the sons of the foreigner shall not drink your new wine for which you have labored, but those who have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord. Those who have brought it together shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway. Take out the stones. Lift up a banner for the peoples. Indeed, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the world. Say to the daughter of Zion, Surely your salvation is coming. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Revelation chapter 22, it says, And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light or the, of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do, not, do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to every man according as his work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and 
mongers and murders and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie i jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches i am the root and the offspring of david and the bright and morning star and the spirit and the bride say come and let him that hear it say come and let him that is a thirst come and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely for i testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add unto these things god shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book and if any man shall take away from the words of this prophecy god shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of this holy city and from the things which are written in this book he which testifieth these things saith surely i come quickly amen even so come lord jesus the grace of our lord jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so it goes without saying that blessed is the man from Psalm 1 who walks not in the counsel of the young godly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Psalm 128, it says, Blessed is every one who fears the lord who walks in his ways when you eat the labor of your hands you shall be happy and it shall be well with you your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house your children like olive plants all around your table behold thus shall the man be blessed who fears the lord the lord bless you out of zion and may you see the good of jerusalem all the days of your life yes may you see your children's children peace be upon israel thank you father in john 15 it says i am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may be bear more fruit you are already clean because of the word which i have spoken to you abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit so you will be my disciples i stopped here in verse 8 praise the lord thank you lord oh lord i pray that we are truly the branches that stem from you our vine oh father 
prune us, our vine dresser. Prune us. Prune us, Lord. Oh, Lord. This vine is our tree of life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Romans 5, verse 18 through 21, it says, Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We rest on your righteousness, Lord. In Jesus' name.